Several different weapons that are being used by Russia in Ukraine right now. Some of the most lethal, which haven't been used just yet, but which are uh, available uh, to the arsenals of Ru uh, Russia, are the thermobaric weapons. Here's a quick report where explaining to you what some of these weapons look like. And as if in response to the mother of all bombs is the FOAB or the father of all bombs in Cold War style, this one built by Russia, very similar in terms of it also being a thermobaric weapon which uses environmental oxygen to create a high generation, high intensity uh, uh, explosion, blast yield of 44 tons of TNT, making it very comparable to you know, a nuclear, nuclear impact in terms of the immediate destruction, a mass of 7,100 kilograms. That's what the father of all bombs looks like. It has a damage radius of 300 meters, which is, which is really, really big, allegedly used by Russia in Syria in the year 2016. That was the subject matter of a great deal of conjecture as well. So the FOAB, or father of all bombs, again, thermobaric, non-nuclear, and considered one of the most powerful non-nuclear weapons. With a nuclear exchange completely unthinkable, countries have still invested billions like the US and Russia, in super destructive weapons that are actually non-nuclear. For example, what is called the Moab or the mother of all bombs. It has a 10,000 kilogram uh, you know, weight. It, it is 30 feet tall. It has a blast yield of 11 tons of TNT, you know, comparable uh, to, to, uh, to nuclears, a damage radius of 150 to 300 meters. And it is an ordnance air blast weapon, basically a thermobaric a weapon. It's totally non-nuclear. It's considered a conventional weapon. There is no uh, radiation of any kind. It is a fuel air explosive, which basically means uh, it uses the environmental oxygen to generate a high intensity explosion. It's been used by the US in 2017 in Afghanistan against ISIS and is considered one of the most powerful non-nuclear weapons at this time.